We're getting ready for our second line of stitching on the fake fly, so let's check our machine. And remember, when you do this, you only have to do about an inch. You don't have to stitch, you know, a really long time. We just want to make sure that everything is working okay. And I'm going to line this up like I did the last time. And But one of the problems that I'm going to have this time, again, is when I get right here. So there are actually two ways I can look at this to make sure that I'm stitching in the correct spot. One of them is to look over here, and one of them is to look over here. Now most of us have this stitch nice and, or cut nice and straight, so that's a, the best place to look. But when you get up here to the top, and you're trying to figure out if it's in the right spot, you can actually use the line of stitching as your guide. So don't forget, we're going to back stitch at the beginning. And I am going to speed this up a little bit. Remember, you do it at your own pace. Okay, so I am at the top here where I'm not going to be able to see the edge of my presser foot anymore. So I'm trying to keep an eye over here. I want these two lines of stitching to be about the same. I'm going to come up even with my stitches or pretty close to back stitch a few stitches needle up press her foot up and pull off to the left don't make this the second line of stitching farther than the first one if you're a, a stitcher too short that's okay remember that second line of stitching is considered your safety seam and we do that so that when you bend over if you pop your first set of stitches you're not going to pop the second set and let us see all of your undies would not be good. All right, so I've done it at the bottom. Now I'm going to do it at the top again. Same way. I'm going to line up. And since I, I actually here can line this edge of my presser foot up pretty even with that. I can see that those are about the same. And I want to stop right about at where my dot starts. And I'm just going to a couple of stitches forward. And I want to back stitch. Okay, and then I'm just going to stitch up the top here, and I'm going to back stitch, needle up, press her foot up, pull off to the left, and let's cut our threads. Always make sure you cut your threads. One of the things that makes my students' projects look so good is that I have high expectations, and one of them is to make everything neat and tidy on the inside. A neat and tidy project will look a lot of times much better even than a ready-to-wear project because we have taken care to make sure that everything looks good. Okay, so my next step on here is zigzagging, and I'm going to get to that right now.